Hello, welcome to the Daily Political Tarot and Astrology here on the Black and Orange channel. Guess what day it is? Happy Eclipse, Miss! Or... Oh yeah, and I know these are good ones because... I can't see a thing. There we go. There we go. Happy Eclipse, Miss! I hope your day is going well. 10% of my income from everything black and orange goes to Feeding America, feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That's an ongoing thing. Yes, dear. You want to come up here? We have epic troll slayers who keep us safe. And we've got a fantastic community here because of you. You have just done so much for each other. You've been so kind to each other, so kind to me. Thank you. And if you're watching this on replay, Hello. You can go down in the description box. Uh, I timestamp, uh, all the questions are there. I timestamp them as I go. So you can pick and choose what you're interested in, or you can watch back on like 1.25 speed, which I do a lot on YouTube. So, um, and thank you to my father who just came home with these and just like, just left them there for me. They're so awesome. So, all right, can I can I just kind of stick these in my? I don't know if they'll stay. Hello, hello. Ricky says, and the star of the show, and the star of the show, the inspiration behind the Bonnie Tyler hit "Total Eclipse of the Heart," the one and only Boobers and Kitty. Yes, there are. Um, it was just gonna. We're just gonna sit there. Uh, the wind is blowing, so the the all of the leaves and stuff that are floating around outside, and he is losing his little fuzzy mind. He's, he's but he's in the window. How much is that kitty in the window? How you doing, boo boo? Yeah, boo boo. Okay. Anyway. All right, and please forgive the blanket. Okay, um, whoops. All right, we had multiple, we'll get to the questions in just a minute, but it's it's Eclipse Day and I'm me. And you're, you're, you're watching someone who has a Sagittarius stellium. So these are the things you have to put up with. Okay, so we had multiple possible overlays today and I couldn't decide, but I, I think I settled on the one. All right, so the one we're gonna to use today is this. Because they're awesome. <laughs> the cool cats. Uh, so there. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Um, but I have more. Let's go through them quickly. All right, there's this one. Now, close, the close second, the runner-up, is this one. They're so cute. Okay. So there's this one. Which actually might work better with this lipstick and shirt, but they're just all so cute. Okay. There's also the really cool cats. Kind of 80s. Cool cats. Those are fun. And then we have got the apocalypse. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Then we just have kind of an artsy. So that's kind of fun. That's a thing. And yeah, those are those are the main ones. So, um, but uh, yeah, cool cat. Or I don't know. What do you think? Do you like this one better, or do you like do you like do you like the orange cats or the striped cats? You let me know. Let me know. All right. Cynthia says no kitties. Striped, striped, glasses striped. Okay, we're gonna stick with this one then. Stripes, okay, we're sticking with this one then. Okay, thank you. 
All right, let me grab. Okay, I'm 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 being drawn to the uh, pulp tarot. It wasn't necessarily what I was going to use today, but it, it feels like I should use the pulp tarot deck. All right. Right. Cindy says, no, I want kitties. Oh, I see. Okay. Tamara's kitties are, are a requirement. My people. Elizabeth B says, I like apocalypse. All right. Oh, Heather says, you finally made me a fan of kitties. <gasps> Not giving up on my puppies. Oh, no, no, no. But gosh, your kitties are fat, are fabulous. Yes, they are. They are. Thank you. Uh, Teresa's asking, "Is it's my birthday. Is he is celebrating? I don't quite understand, but happy birthday, Teresa. Happy birthday. All right. Uh, what's on MSNBC, Charles? Just let me know. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, Squeaker Bunny. Is that a I want to be covered? Yes, that is an I want to be covered. But you're on the blankie, so you need to back up. Just back up. Just back up. Come on. Just back up. There you go. Oh, there's a good boy. Oh, there's a good boy. There you go. Oh, sweetness. He's going to nap. He'll be quiet. All right. So, man o' day, do we have questions? Um, and I need to put these over here. Uh, I was, I put a, I pinned a comment in the chat about um, uh, where you can get information about the, the eclipse, like where it's going to happen in your area. Uh, so that, that's there. And I, I would go through that with you, except that we've got so many questions. So I want to make sure I at least try to make, you know, try to get a certain distance. So um, through these, but I just know that the next time uh, the next time we're going to have a, a full solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse in uh, uh, North America, in the U.S., is not going to be until 2044. So it is kind of a big day. And you can definitely, all morning, you can just feel, just feel a little excitement. Everybody just a little excited. And I also know somebody who had to talk down a teenager who was like, who'd been like, diving into like conspiracy theory something something it was like are we gonna die no <laughs> no it's just the beautiful it is the dance it is the dance of the planets so <laughs> dance of the planets it's fine ricky says i have no interest in seeing the eclipse you don't have to Oh, Charles says, I just saw an MSNBC and an MSNBC short that the Supreme Court has determined Trump is not immune from prosecution. Have they announced? Because that would be pretty. I haven't seen anything. I don't know if that's true, though. That would be great, but I... I, I I would think that there were my phone would be blowing up with, with headlines, but thank you. We'll definitely keep an eye out for that. That would be awesome. All right, so let's uh, jump into the first question at uh, 9.30. Okay. Both Jellia261 and Goral were asking, uh, Trump is going to try to sue Judge Mershon. In a last-ditch attempt to avert Manhattan hush money trial, will he succeed? No. Uh, I apparently we don't know exactly how this works. 
like, what is he, is he, is this just like a motion or he's actually suing? But apparently the documents are still under seal. Yeah, Coral, final Hail Mary. Yeah. <clears throat> and Mary's, Mary's like, I don't know him. <laughs> All right, Dumpy, what you got? What you got? What you got? <clears throat> Hermit for the reading. <laughs> so much fail. Burden. Yeah. Four of swords. Legal silence. Howling at the moon. Dog. Yes, you're going to go into a criminal trial, you buffoon. Ace of Cups, case going forward, Eight of Wands. They're throwing anything they can at the wall. But seriously, so much fail. So much failure would be the proper grammar, but in colloquial slang terms, so much fail. <laughs> Epic fail. Yay. Okay. Um, so, uh, Coral had another question at 11.45. Newsweek is reporting that Trump's fundraiser may have broken the law. <laughs> but of course, but of course. Oh wow. Maybe bien, me, me bien so? Is that <laughs> yes, Lisa? Shocker. Lewis says no, lol. High priestess says oopsies. And Keisha West just goes, <laughs> yeah. Keisha West, you don't say. Heather's asking, oh my gosh, can he do anything legally? Apparently <laughs> not. All right, so um, if the fundraiser benefited Trump, the organization could risk losing its tax-exempt tax status, and Trump and others could also be taxed on the private benefits. An IRS rule bars charities from endorsing candidates for elections. Will the fundraiser be taxed? Well, all I've heard, there's a link there, but all I've heard so far is that the the people who went to his fundraiser are, in theory, if they actually gave that much money, I mean, come on, really? Do we, do we believe him? Just face value? I'm not believing him at face value. Prove it. Um, but... Um, they're maxed out, but CC Ryder says that Adam Kinzinger posted a tweet that the Trump campaign is most likely using a trick to double count contributions and include prior contributions not yet filed. Exactly. Exactly. He's just lying. He's just lying. But is it criminal? Hey, Dumpy. Did you just do something else criminal? <laughs> World, he's toast. He's it, serious, he's a briquette. He said, said they did the fundraising before the quarter to file to tax. Oh, yes, Amy Jones. Dumpy had to make more money than Uncle Joe. Yes. So Joe Biden with uh, um, Obama and Clinton, um, they raised $25 million. And I actually believe that. I don't have reason not to. Trust is consistent behavior over time. I've had a lot of therapy in my life. A lot. 
And that, so I am sharing with you one of the greatest pieces of information or guidelines or whatever it is that I have learned in all in all of my years. Trust is consistent behavior over time. Joe Biden hasn't lied. Not about this, nope, not a, mm -mm. Trump has lied about everything. He lies about, he lies about his height. He lies about his weight. He lies about, oh my gosh, what has he not lied about? So I don't trust him, but yeah, this is, this is bad. Victory, victory. Oh, it was glorious. We raised so much money. Yeah. You've raised, you just happened to raise twice what Biden raised plus, plus 50,000. No, plus 500,000. 50 million, 500,000 had to, because of course it would have been 25 and a bit. So of course it had to be 50 and a bit, of course. Now, if it had actually been like an, an odd number, a weird number, something that wasn't so on the nose, I almost, almost would have been leaning toward believing him, but no just happens to be that way. Oh, my victory, my victory. Oh, look at all of my glorious money. Really? I'm not seeing money. There's nothing, there's nothing here. There's nothing behind it. Magician, he is a con man. Five of cups and the lovers. This doesn't, sorry. This doesn't feel like disappointment. This feels like a face palm. When we're gonna find out the truth. And it's going to be like, really? Jeez. Oh, this guy. But um, I wonder if him raising that much money all at once helps, either encourages or discourages his real suckers from giving, giving him their, their milk money. Yeah. Yes, do do take from the poor. But he's really rich. Anywho, by the way, did I mention this? Did I mention uh did I did I share with you or actually repeat what Stephen Colbert. Yes, it was Stephen Colbert. I think I told, I think I, I mentioned this on here. If you watch Stephen Colbert regularly, you've already heard this, but that night apparently with Biden, Obama and Clinton, Stephen Colbert was hosting and he was complaining that he was the only one who wore a tie. He's like, we're all standing there. I'm the only one in a tie. I think technically that makes me president. <laughs> Just cute. Anyway, um, and at one point, uh, Colbert said to Obama, he said, "Well, why, why can't I call you? You know, can I call you? Can I call you Barack?" And former President Obama said, "No, but your wife can." <laughs> And Cole Bear said, everybody loves that joke. Especially my wife. Everybody loves that joke. <laughs> it's great. Oh, Keisha West says the eclipse is happening here in Ventura, California. See you, see you in a few minutes. Excellent. That was good. That was good. So, um, did the fundraiser break the law? Is Trump in even more financial? Because it's not a charity. Yes, if a campaign is not a charity, but uh, maybe it falls under with for tax. I have no idea. Um, yes, begging for money. 
legal decision. He's a, he's a, he's a con man and uh, aggressive law enforcement. Um, this is a legal decision and they'll come. Yeah. There's, there's something surprise. There's something hinky. There's something not quite right. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Viking girls asking, what time do you get the eclipse? I get it at 2.07 p.m. It is currently 12.34 p.m. So. Rose Blue says it's starting here in Dallas-Fort Worth, the Dal Dallas-Fort Worth area. Fantastic. It's very exciting. Something everybody can share in. And you don't have to have glasses. I didn't expect... I didn't expect my, my father to show up with these. I'm just very grateful he did, but no, I was just planning. Yeah, uh, Kathy Barber says, I'm, I'm watching the shoebox method, exactly. And that's what I was expecting to do. I was just gonna poke some holes in paper. i watch it that way. That's fine. And most people can get hold of a piece of paper and poke a tiny hole in it. Hold the paper flat and you poke the little hole. You hold it over, you know, some kind of surface, maybe another piece of paper. And uh, yeah, you can watch this, the circle that the light that comes through and it will suddenly, it will, as the eclipse happens, it'll get, it, it will uh, go crescent shaped and then crescent shaped in the other direction. It's really cool looking. And yes, you can use your phone too. I understand. Yeah, you can do all these things, but I'm just saying there is, there is really... There's no one who can't, unless it's really cloudy where you are, there's, you know, everybody can take part. So be a lot of happy kids today. Kelly says I'm using builder glass. Excellent. So Sherlock Holmes says it starts where I am in about 15 minutes. Darkest will be in about 25 minutes. Excellent. Sandy Miller says the shadows are starting here in Oklahoma. No glasses, but the birds are quiet. Yes, I was talking about the teenager um, <clears throat> uh, earlier. The teenager was asking, well, when this, the moon goes over the sun, are we going to freeze to death? <laughs> Bless. No. No. <laughs> Well, it's it's temporary. You might think you might feel it might get slightly colder for a moment. That's it. That's all it is. Because the person who I was talking to explained to the kid said, "Do we freeze to death at night? We don't freeze to death at night." So anyway. Four Pots Light says, I'm in Chicago. I'll meet you on the beach. Bring wine. I don't drink and I don't go anywhere, <laughs> but I I hope it's wonderful. Cindy Miller says, it'll be like a cool breeze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So at 23.30, Marie had a question. 23, 35. Did Stinky really raise, oh, did Stinky really raise $50 million, $50 million at his fundraiser? Or is it just another lie? We'll just ask, ask straight out. Oh, Heather says, apparently Google says it's not good for your camera phone lens. So be advised. There you go. Did he really raise the money? All right, this is the facade. Oh yes. I don't know how to, well, I guess she's, which way are you standing? You are standing like this. Standing pretty. Um, in reality behind that, Abject poverty. Death card. Eight of swords. Star. So this is the facade. Oh, yes, it was great. It was great. It was great. But when I read on this the other day, all uh, no, I read on this. Yeah, I read on this Saturday. How is it going to go? 
what I got was, uh, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. Linda H. says, Midas Touch said there was no one hardly there. He was making up it up as usual. Innocent Potato says it begins at 2.05 p.m. here in Maryland. Oh, fantastic. All right. So at 2530, Catherine Lopez was asking, is Doug Burgum... Trump's VP pick. It's a repeated feeling I get. Um, but he, I, see, what I've been hearing, and we, we don't know. First of all, I don't think he wants to pick one. Um, but I've been hearing Ted Cruz. And I've been hearing Christy Nome. Uh, it actually should be B-U-R-G-U-M. So he is the governor of North Dakota and he's 67. Um, he is a Leo, I think. And yeah, North Dakota. He's among the wealthiest governors in the U.S. with an estimated net worth of $1.1 billion. Oh, I don't think Trump would put up with that for a minute. He'd be so jealous. He would die of jealousy. Absolutely die of jealousy. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Trump could hack it. I really don't. Gene Hall says, when I was a kid, we used the pinhole method. Make a pinhole in an index card and hold it so the sun shines through to the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Is it Dorin Dorinda? Uh, Tim Scott is another possibility. The damage report talked about it. Mm -hmm. See, and, and uh, Michael Cohen was talking to Do Donnie, Donnie Deutsch. Donnie Deutsch was saying... Um, Donnie Deutsch was saying it's it's it'll be a woman because Trump is in so much trouble with women. I don't know. Well, Donnie and, and Michael Cohen said it'll have to be a an a, a woman he finds attractive. But I don't know. I mean, he wants a sycophant. He wants someone who is going to appreciate having been chosen by his greatness. Yeah, Lisa Arnold says his base wouldn't stand for a, for a black man. Yeah. Oh, Giovanna, thank you. Oh, no worries. Thank you. So did he really raise the money? It's, it's a, his, his, his financial need is a black hole. Pretend, pretend, yay, yay. The reality will come out. And this is this is us finding out the truth and us walking by, you know, our drive-by giggling. <laughs> Another stupidity, more stupidity from Trump. Yeah. Even if he even if he ha even if it was true, doesn't doesn't make a it, it barely makes a dent. Barely makes a dent. So. All right. Oh, Doug Burgum. Sorry, I was reading on the wrong question. Mm -mm. Nope. Jealous. Jealous, 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 jealous. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Holly and Francis campaigns have to publicly file financial reports. Yes, but... They, that happens in the future, but for now he can say, "Yes, everyone's getting behind me, and I'm a, I'm bringing in more money than Biden." Blah blah blah. Lies, lies, lies. Yeah, <laughs> lies, lies, lies. Yeah. 
they're going to get you. Old Silver is asking, do dictators have vice presidents? Yeah. Putin has Med Medvedev, whatever the heck his name is. I keep getting it wrong because I don't like him. Um, <clears throat> no. No. I don't know what's going on with Bergam. Is, is he is he in trouble? Hmm. Uh, it would be too much competition. Matter of fact, how tall is Bergam? I'm just getting this feeling that there's there's like there are multiple things about Bergam that he that Trump couldn't handle. And um, this is just. Desti this is financial destitution, and which is where Trump is compared to Bergam. So, yeah, I wouldn't get my hopes up on him. I, th I think he, he, I hope he's not uh, getting his hopes up. But Trump will bring down whoever he chooses. So, eh, you know, whatever. David Minard says, like being intelligent? Yes. All right, so Lisa Lisa says Trump's VP choice has to promise to pardon Trump. Also, the VP has got to commit to participating in yeah the the, the coolish stuff. Hmm. Anyway, all right, uh, thirty one forty five. Let's have a look. Thank you for being here today. Former Capitol Police officer warns that nothing is preventing another January 6th. That's not true. That's not entirely true. Now, is it possible that someone like Speaker Mikey, he hates everything the heretic, that he might do something stupid? I wouldn't put anything past him. Um, he's He's been... He's been kind of, considering where the bar was set, he's been kind of surprisingly centrist, but he's not, he's really not, he may seem it, but no, no. He might even see himself as being just a complete moderate. No, uh-uh. But, um, Ricky says, Trump would pick a perfect VP running mate, but buzzards aren't allowed to vote or hold office. <laughs> Flying monkeys? <laughs> Lisa Arnold says, the birds here are going bananas. Oh. Um, the... the the big, you know, from the arrogant toddlers and um, the arrogant toddlers and the other group, you know, those jerks on uh, January 6th, a lot of them are in prison. And not only does it, does that mean that they can't be out there doing something, but it also sends a message that, yeah, you could really end up in jail. And for all Trump running his mouth about their hostages, blah, blah, blah. No, they're not. Um, they are criminals in prison where they belong. Um, it still, it does create a pause, but also a pause. Um, <clears throat> Page of Cups. Well, that is the card of... Go back to business. Blah, 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 blah. Trump runs his mouth. Defensive. Trying to con people into doing stuff. There's Biden. There's aggressive law enforcement. And there is the star card, which feels like the stars and stripes card. This isn't usually the card I get for America, but it feels like America. They... They know, see, the thing you have to remember, which we don't talk about uh, regularly, is that the day after January 6th, that night, 
and the day after, my under, if I remember correctly, it was, was it the National Guard? It, whoever it was, it was the military who slept in the Capitol on the floor. Oh, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Gee, here, just have a nap on the marble. Um, they're ready for this. They're, they're you, something, somebody tries something like this again, they're ready for it. Basically, Trump had one shot and it fell apart because he's a, an incompetent part of human anatomy. Uh, so, yeah, Lisa Arnold says, whoa, the birds just got dead quiet. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm not, I'm not seeing this happening. They, they, he had his chance. Now, does he think he can? Yes. See, I don't have to listen to the rules. I'm special. I'm, no, dude, you're done. You, Trump, you are done finished, and you're going to lose the election. Okay. All right. So let us move on to um, Janet Stafura had a question at 37. Do you remember the other day that Trump talked to MBS? And the poor communication devices between the two will never be the same again. <laughs> oh, talk about low vibration running through that. Oof. Becca from House of Lynn Normand is in the chat. Hello. Just went outside to see the eclipse. It's only partially here. It's only partial here. Did you get to see it though? Ricky says, I'd like to see the look on Trump's face when he loses again in November. Will will it look as will he look as miserable as Melania did Saturday night at the fundraiser? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we're good. Uh, MB, MB, okay, okay. Could Trump, his call to MBS, been about shutting down oil production to raise gas prices, raising prices intending to hurt Biden? MBS owns the biggest oil refinery in Texas, along with exporting to here. May have come up. Hmm. Um, but Wheel of Fortune. MBS doesn't, I mean, he doesn't want to, he, he knows he can play Trump like a fiddle. And he, he loves that he did what he wanted to do to Khashoggi. And Trump was like, la, 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 la. And Jared was like, oh, you're still my best buddy in the whole world. Probably in that tone of voice. Um, so yeah, MBS will take Trump's call, but not that much. I think Trump asks him for money too. But he knows, MBS knows Trump's not, it's not going so great. Hanged man, seven of cups, it's, a, it's an illusion. Six of cups, oh, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. Yeah, he knows you're desperate. And he knows you can do stupid stuff. I don't really have oil here. If there's any money here, it's really just about Trump's poverty. And that's where he's headed. Probably not poverty like you and I know it, but true to him. Oh, and the drama, of course. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress it. Just 
even just getting into MBS's energy at all. Uh, Mohammed bin Salman, Bern, uh, the the uh, crown prince in Saudi Arabia. Sorry, I should have, should have made that made that clear. But yeah, just even it's like, oh, suddenly my back hurts more. Oh, yuck, my stomach turned. Oh, that man is so vile. Time sensitive U.S. eclipse 2024 maximum at 2:07 p.m. today. I know. Thank you. Okay. Let's read on something else because that's really icky energy. Um. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dip into this energy briefly. Uh, I don't like, you know me, I don't like reading on some certain topics in this one. So, do you, okay, the health, women's health care ban. Yeah, that one. Uh, and Trump was talking about a six-week limit and all this kind of stuff. He said, no, I'll bring, oh, I'll come out with my, you know, I'll, I'll state my views on Monday. Well, believe it or not, he actually did. First of all, I was shocked. Uh, in, in, in a very short span of time, I'll do whatever. Oh, you know, it's inter infrastructure week every week, years on end. So he did come out and he gave his idea. So he's 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 been all over the map. And today Trump came out and said he believes everything should be left up to the states. Whatever, dude. What is it? Was it Mean Girls? See, I didn't see the movie, but I've seen I've seen all the clips. So is it is that the whatever? That one? Um <clears throat> how angry is MACA? How angry are they? How livid are they that he is suddenly not talking about a national ban? See, in the past. If you wouldn't go that far, if you wouldn't say those things, the that community would be like, oh, it's okay. He really means it. He just he just wants to make sure he gets in so he can do the thing. But now you don't have to hide that. Or maybe they're like, oh, okay. All right, I did not expect this. This is odd. In this deck, the Five of Pentacles out in the cold. She's holding a baby. Can't get it to focus, but she's holding a baby. So, yeah. Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Moon, Strength, Knight of Cups. Um, I, I'm not even, I don't know if they're mad or not. I don't know. I'm not getting that. What I'm getting is, um, I'm getting that he just wants to party. He doesn't care. Oh. Uh, he knows that he can rile people up to get them involved, but you're going to lose. You're going to lose the election. It doesn't matter. And he just, he just doesn't care. He just, he just knows, the, he just knows he can go up to his followers and push that button and then push that button and then push that button. And he doesn't care. He doesn't have to carry a child. And you, if you remember, um, from what everyone has said, somebody, look, I don't want to body shame anybody. I just really dislike this guy, and I think he's a misogynist. And I think, considering a, he has been adjudicated as being the R word, I don't have to say allegedly. Um, that it, it, There was a trial. There was, it was a civil trial, but there was still a trial. And there was still a jury. And the jury said, yeah, you're an R word. Uh, you will notice that he does not protect his partners.
but he doesn't care. Anyway, all right. Um, Kelly says, bet there are a few GOP women not happy about 45 stance. Oh, absolutely. But all I'm getting is he's going to lose the election. Women are going to vote in droves. And of course, there's some women who will vote for Trump. And there are some, um, and, and there are plenty of men who are definitely going to vote for Biden and who are completely on the side of, of uh, women's health care. And so, and I'm not saying, and that's not a euphemism, by the way. That's what it is. So, all right. All right, all right. So, um, yeah, Lois, exactly. Look where you put the mother of his kids. Poor Ivana. Mm -hmm. So anyway, would you like to hear about a MAGA congressperson embarrassing themselves? Sure, why not? MTG is apparently tap dancing on the last nerve of the GOP with her latest attacks on Speaker Johnson. While others may have their issues with the Speaker, they are aware that getting rid of him will destabilize the party even further. Is she in trouble? Kelly says, yes. Oh, gosh. Hang on. Gigi by the sea. I hope Linda G and family are okay. I read a flight to Houston made an emergency landing yesterday because a part fell off. Please tell me Linda G's okay. I, I, literally, I, I literally have her book right here. I mean, it's right here. She's... Oh, please tell me she's okay. Yes, Linda J is, Linda G is, okay, Lucky Girl says, yes, Linda G is okay, she's home. Okay. Whew. First image says she's fine. Okay. She's home, she's fine, Sylvia, thank you. Gretchen says she's okay. Okay. Jesse Hill says she never went. Her flight got delayed. Okay. Okay. Whew. All right. <clears throat> okay. Good. All right. Get me. Okay. Good. And all's well. All right. So, uh, where was I? MTG. Oh, yes. Well, we are, we're enjoying um, MTG making a fool of herself and getting on everybody's nerves. She is queen of the magas, at least in her own mind, three of swords. She, she's an extremist, page of wands. She doesn't have the strength she thinks she has. Matter of fact, it feels like Gates has more power than she does because he's a man. That's what it feels like. Chariot, Empress. Yeah, she's she's not going to lose her seat because she's in such a red district. Um, but yeah, she's getting on people's nerves, but it's, she's not going to stop. She's just going to keep, you know, bull in a china shop. It's what she is. Only that the China are people's lives and decency, morals, that kind of stuff. So is she in trouble? No. All right. Um, Cosmic Goat Lady wants to know if MTG got a target letter. at 50. 
50 minutes. Did MTG get a target letter? Which might help explain why she is going to extremes. I think she just is extreme. Did you get a target letter? And Pryor says, just received a text from Ring of Fire that said MTG's beginning to realize she has no friends. Yep. Linda H says, quite a few readers said she did. Which, I'm sorry, she did what? Did what? I'm sorry. I, I, I can't remember everything I said. Uh, okay, so... Did she get a target letter? Oh, get a target letter, did she? Some readers said she did. Uh, not yet. They're, they might be, you know, working on it behind the scenes, but Page of Swords, King of Wands, her kneeling before the king, her king, blah, gross. Six of Pentacles, scraps he gives her scraps three of cups five of cups i don't usually get good cards for her in future but i'm, I'm not getting a target letter i'm not getting legal i don't i don't think the the target letters have gone out yet and i think when they do oh we'll hear about it Lisa Arnold says she really wants that VP spot. Yeah. Carol is asking, do you really think MTG cares whether or not she has friends? No. Okay. All right. What do we have next? What do we have next? Joe Eliza. Uh, Sarah Huckasand was meant to be audited. Okay, 52... 15, 52, 15. And again, thank you for being here. Thank you for going through the news with me. All right, so Sarah Huckasand was meant to be audited for the lectern gate purchase in February. She has just requested, again, to have more time to formulate an answer to the purchase. Do you see anything coming from this independent audit? Will she get her friend in trouble as they are looking at the receipt as fraudulent? All right, Hakkasan. Oh, oh, thank you, Haven. Thank you. Cat Shepherd says the sun looks like the Apple logo right now. But the bite is at six o'clock and there is a breeze. Sarah Hakkasan. She, she who needs to wear pants. Yes, John, fabricate, not formulate. Yes, fabricate a plan. Entertainment only YouTube. Oh, Fran, no reason to be afraid. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Ace of Pentacles, the money. Two of Cups, Strength, World, Three of Pentacles, Judgment. It's a lot of, that's a lot of major arcana. It's about the money. I'm guessing she could get into some trouble. That's her friendship. It could also be the independent investigators. Who feels like they will be independent, which would be awesome. I've got world, the plan, and judgment. I'm guessing this is not going to go well for her. Mm -mm. I've got major arcana. This is the case against her or what they're going to do. Uh, the situation, world in the center, which is an ending. End of book, end of chapter, end of how things have been. Here's a plan and his judgment about what the plan was. Now, how much trouble? Uh, 
how much is the trouble with the lectern? The Star Trek. Now I'm missing a syllable. The Star Trekker rip off for sale. Burden. Okay. World card again. Wasn't there some kind of trip? She was paying for some kind of trip? Something, something, something? Secret. She's in a position of power, but this is can also be a prosecutor. A foolish person and a world card. So yeah, she could get into big trouble. So what it feels like. I, I have tr always have trouble believing that any any of these jerks are going to be held accountable. But it, I, the cards are. She got the world card twice. That's not a that's not a good sign. Carol, thank you so much. Gifted twenty uh, black and orange uh, memberships to random people in the chat. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very sweet. And High Priestess says, trip to Paris. Paris. Lisa Arno says, from her podium money. Moonchild is like, Paris, yes. Thank you, Charles. Uh, Carol Langstaff says, I counted at least 20 gray names that need to go green. All right, so, yeah. I don't know. You know, if these people were, I don't know, nice, good to others, honest. I mean, really, all these people, would it kill them to be honest? Honestly? Honestly? <laughs> would it kill them to be honest? Why would that why would that hurt them so much? Why would why would being honest be so awful for these people? I don't I don't understand. All right, uh, at 57.40, let's look at Four Pots Light at 50. There we go. Will Clarence Thomas ever be held accountable for his shady dealings? I think so. Let's have a look. Exactly, Haven. When you're honest, you don't have to remember the lies. Exactly. Steve says, thanks for sharing, Autumn. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. So, Clarence Thomas. Can someone please hold this jerk accountable? Please. Please. underhanded work in this deck. <clears throat> Hang on. Why am I suddenly getting a mental image of congressional hearings in the Senate? Why am I suddenly getting mental images of Senate hearings? About the money, who gave him the money. Legal action, Ten of Cups, us being very excited. Temperance, Queen of Cups, us watching. We would, we would have to, we'd have to do really well in the Senate, in the election. And I, I know that we're going to do well, but I don't know if we're going to do well enough to to remove a uh, remove a sitting Supreme Court justice. Don't you need to? Don't you need a two thirds majority for that? 
Or is there a 60, 60 vote threshold or something, something? High Priestess says, Sheldon White House is on it. Yeah. Heather Formosa says, maybe Sheldon White House finally makes headway into the their ethics. Oh gosh, I hope so. Three of Cups. I, I have us being quite pleased. Nine of Cups, Empress, King of Pentacles. Yeah, holding these people accountable for the country. Here's the evidence. I'm getting some positive cards. Lisa, Lisa, that the your emoji game is on point. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, okay. All right. Fingers crossed. At one o one ten, Elon Musk says Tesla, 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 Tesla will unveil a robo taxi in August of this year. Will this actually come to fruition? I believe he was just taken. Tesla was just taken to court by a woman. No, by a man whose wife didn't survive a, a, anyway. So the robo taxi, it's coming. It's, 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 it needs to be done safely is the problem. But, oh yeah, there's robotics coming. Our lives in 20 years, let alone 30 years are gonna look different. I mean, you think you you think you use your your phone a lot. I mean, twenty five years ago, what did your phone look like? Did you even have a um, cell phone? Because I was actually I I came late to the game. Couldn't afford it, so I, I didn't have a I didn't have a a um, cell phone until the mid two thousands, the mid aughts, something like that. So. All right. And yeah, there are other countries who who will have versions of it, I think, first, like in Japan, they already are using the they're they're more open to technology. But five of wands, there's still chaos, it can still cause damage. Um, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. I, I, mm, they've got to, they've got to fix the safety. Now, for something like a a robo taxi in like New York City, that actually might be a better way to do it, if it's in a limited space and. It, there's there's there aren't really high speeds and they're um yeah that kind of thing maybe but yeah i'm not seeing robo taxis all around <laughs> raymond says i want a personal robot to help me do the things i don't want to oh yeah Lisa Arnold said, I didn't have a smartphone until 2014. Oh yeah, yes, definitely. I didn't, I didn't until well into the teens. I had a, I had a Blackberry. So Sammy says it's starting to get dark. Ooh. Well, we're at 117 here. So there's still plenty of time, but yeah, it's starting to get that kind of orangish, orangish color to the, to the quality, to the light. So, all right, uh, what was next here? Oh, gosh, I hope so. Pam L. had a question about Artemis, the NASA program for going to the moon at 104.45. 
Pamela asked, said, what do you see for NASA for the Artemis program as we prepare to go to the moon in 2025 or 2026? Yay. I love that. Uh, Keisha West asks, how long have you been giving readings? I know you've been here for four years. Obviously, you were good before you came to us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I have learned a lot. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, the channel's been here since mid-2018, like June 2018, um, late June. Um, and I used cars before then. But I, I really only got back into tarot once once Trump took office. Yeah, it was just so upsetting. I just found myself gravitating back to my deck over and over when I'd hear something in the news that would upset me. And then I finally realized it was like, if I'm doing this anyway to try to calm myself down, maybe I can calm some other people down too. So. Keisha West says, the orange color in the sky is how I knew to go outside. There we go. Laura uh, Wagner says, I have a Roomba. My long hair gives it a stroke. That's why I got, that's why the only, um, with this, yeah, the only uh, vacuums I have are sharks because they'll, they'll break it up to some extent, except right in the middle. You've got to clean it out now and then, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I only buy sharks because of that. All right, we are, Artemis, Artemis, Artemis. There might be some delays. It's a big undertaking. Um, it's the, the burden of what a big undertaking it is to, to put us back on the moon. Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords. It feels like some kind of delay. I hope not, but if it's for safety, maybe that's for the best. As long as as long as we can go eventually. But I, I the cards are saying a delay. I hope I hope it goes well though. I just and if I just want it to be safe. The Artemis Project at NASA. The, yeah, you've. See, the thing is, you've got to balance everything out, all the different pieces with the, it's complicated. But they're working, and they are working really, really hard to for it not to go wrong, for people to, to stay safe. All kinds of medical tests, all kinds of, um, it's not just te medical tests on the people, it's, it's, what are the conditions they're going to be facing and the amount of radiation and the amount of, and the forces and the blah, 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 blah. Um, Knight of Swords, that would be moving forward, but they've got to make sure everything is just so. So, but bless them. It feels good. Tristra says, back in the day when you just showed your hands, I used to say, where is the black and orange hand lady? <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't have any um, confidence. Tigress of Forley says, I wish I'd found you sooner. Oh, thank you. That was very sweet. Hello, Kelly. Um, Carol says, sharks used to burn out on the first day on account of our long-haired long kitties. They've improved them greatly. And so far, so good with our latest shark. Oh, excellent. And even though I didn't get I didn't get mine on Christmas for some reason I decided to I had to name them after reindeer. <laughs> so it took me time to save up enough. But you know, with the, the situation in the house and two cats and this hair and all that. Yeah. So we've got we've got Dasher up here and Blitzen downstairs. Dixie Luhu says, I have watched nearly every day since I found you a few months ago. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And Rhonda Lynn says, I found you about a month ago. Haven't missed a day since. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I can tell in the camera that 
It doesn't look too bad, but it definitely the, the, the lighting is definitely going more orange. It's 123 here. Okay, what do we else what do we have here? Um Um, okay, let's go down to Heather's question about housing and price fixing. Because there are a lot of people struggling right now. Heather was asking, the DOJ will reopen their antitrust investigation against real estate companies who use price fixing schemes to raise housing costs. Will they crack down on this and win cases? Let's have a look. Yeah, the housing thing is just crazy. Things will get better. Um, You know, young people want to move out. You know, they're probably people staying together because they can't afford to live on their own. Judgment, eight of wands. We went through, part of this is also, you know, there, there are, when you go through a pandemic, there are consequences that range from, um, you know, things being more scarce for a while, prices going up, inflation, but also you also have corporate greed, you have people to take advantage of the situation. I remember after the, the, the 2008, the housing collapse then, there were people who still had money who were buying up a lot of homes inexpensive, inexpensively, pennies on the dollar, cleaning them up a little and flipping them eventually. So the people who have money take advantage of the situation. And that's what we, we've had that too. So, but temperance, working, and then having something physical to show for it. So things are, things are going to, to get better. I've got the temperance card here. It just, it's cold comfort, I know, for some, but it, things could have been so much worse. And if Trump had stayed in, heaven knows where we would have ended up. I don't even want to think about where we would end up, we've ended up in so many areas, but in this case, economically. So, Trisha says you were good back then. Oh, I meant... I used to say, man, she's good. Everything resonated with me. Oh, bless you, Tris Tris. Thank you. Thank you. You're very sweet. All right, let me bring this down and this up. Hello. All right. So it's about... So I'm gonna I'm gonna have the eclipse here in about 40 minutes, and um, I don't know if I'm gonna go live or not. Probably will, but I I I need to um, I can't do it here. I I would need to get on my phone and go outside and all that kind of stuff. So I am going to call it for today. I've been on for an hour and 14 minutes. So. And I'm so grateful you've been here. And thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. I never thought I'd get here. Ever. So thank you. All right. So uh, it is 127 p.m. here in Chicago. You uh, may very well see me in, you know, half an hour. Uh, I'll jump on on my phone. Nothing. I won't be re doing readings necessarily. But, um, and as far as what this, what this eclipse means, don't stress it. Really. It's it's it we have we have moon conjunct sun 13 times a year. This just happens to be on the ecliptic, on the, the plane for the between, you know, so it just 
just lines up just so the, 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 the that all the different planes are lining up, we're gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, thank you. Moonchild, thank you. Eclipse blessings, and to you, thank you. All right, so, oh, no, wait, 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 Goral, really? Oh, wait, wait, what, Trump stock is down to what? Okay, I've got, I've got it open up here. What, what, wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Where's my link? Uh, Musk. I've got too many tabs open. Aha, there we go. DJT. Oh, this is glorious. Okay, hang on. Hang on. It really is down to $36. It was at 50, wasn't it? Wasn't it at 50? Let's look. <gasps> look at that. Just today. Just today it went from 40, 70, $40.78 to 36. Let's look at five day. Yeah, it was up here at 50. 51. Ooh, look at you, fancy schmancy. And 36.19, 36.23, 36.24, 36.25, 36.26, 36.27, 36.28, 36.29, 36.30, 36.31, 36.32, 36.33, 36.34, 36.35, 36.36, 36.37, 36.38, 36.39, 36.40, 36.41, 